one. Um, still water. Uh, he's, he's, he's still going. Still, still water. I need more practice. If there's one thing I can say for sure about M. Night Shyamalan's The Last Airbender, it was a movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this movie is infamous for being one of the worst movies practically ever. It's, it is really bad. Yeah. But what I wanted to do with this review, to do is a little something different, is to just see if there's anything possibly good about the movie. So we have to find the so good. lowered our expectations. <laughs> and That's the Greendale just, motto. We just Lower your expectations. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, so... We watched it pretty recently. It's, we just watched, yeah. And, we just watched and it. we're just gonna mm -hmm. pick it apart piece by piece and reassemble it like, mm -hmm. like Shyamalan did with the show. Exactly. <laughs> The movie opens with each of the studios having their own kind of element. Paramount gets water, I guess, and Nickelodeon's fire. Oh, I guess they're air, too. Um, and whatever this one is, I guess it's Earth, because it's the only one left. And then the movie opens with the same intro from the show, which is awesome. Yeah, because it's like in live action and stuff. And that'd be perfect if they continued that later. Yeah, they should have just kept like most of the other parts. Mm -hmm. um, like this as well. Okay, this air guy coming up, he like, he, like break dances and then... Yeah, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> and then it comes, and it's like, uh, uh, And then there's this part. Eat fresh. Alright, so the problem I have with this intro, there's a few problems, actually. Um, one... I have the same problems. Yeah, so one, it's, it's just straight-up dialogue, I mean, um, straight-up words on the screen, uh, scrolling, with no yeah, music. Water. Earth, fire, and air nomads. Um, so that's that's wrong because uh, it's not exciting. Because it's not interesting. Because it's boring to look at, and that would be fine if there was music playing. Mm -hmm. However, instead of music, they have Katara reading what's in front of us. And it's there's like, also and there's like what I I know how to read. It's not exactly <laughs> music. It's like these like wind sounds. It's like, yeah, it's not music. There's like almost there's like some ambient noises in the background. Great respect was afforded to all those who could bend their... But there's no music. Then, two... Mm -hmm. Why... If she's reading it, why don't we have something to look at? <laughs> like, either it should be just words... Make it appealing. Just words with music, or just the voiceover with something to look at. Like, I don't know, maybe the intro to the show. Like, not just the fire, water, earth, make, air make, part, but the it, part the where parts with the, it's the like long ago, and it shows the map, and then it shows all the different nations, and then it shows what happened. But make show that part. Action, just do that in live action. Is it that hard? You did the other part. <laughs> like, have the budget for it. What, what's the... What do you mean? They had like a bajillion dollars. They were trying dollars. to keep the movie under 97 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's just like, why? Okay. Um... Yeah. <laughs> oh, I see. It wasn't very smart. You probably heard people say the acting is horrible. Yeah, and it absolutely is. It's on par with movies such as Avalanche, Shark Attack, and Plan Nine for Matter Space. Well, you, you gotta give Avalanche, Shark Attack some credit because with a title like that, like they kind of meant for it to be bad. So advantage <laughs> yeah. Avalanche, Shark Attack. Yeah, <laughs> and it's just, it's just like the script is horrible too. It's the banished prince. Let's offer him lunch. So yeah. like the actors, so really, even like the good actors, look yeah. bad. Like yeah, Admiral the, Zhao, he, that guy, that guy's a good he's actor. A, he's a decent actor, and you could tell he's trying in a few but scenes. The, the just, script is the just the script is just so bad that it, you can't do yeah. anything with. But oh. the main three actors, yeah. Katara, Sokka, and Aang, 
are just completely They're made of wood. They're made of cardwood. <laughs> cardwood. Why can't the Avatar have a family? I asked that. They said that's a sacrifice the Avatar always has to make. Okay. So what what if we found you teachers? Teachers to teach you bending. Which element would you have to learn first? You're probably the worst actors yeah. I've ever seen. You know what? <laughs> this book has, have... this book has more personality than uh That's a book. Uh... <laughs> Okay, let me get something more. <laughs> let me get something more. It has anatomy. words with it, but um, give me a second. <laughs> basically, yeah, the the uh, character like the characters have no personality whatsoever, and it's just what are you doing? Okay, okay, I'm making an example. Okay, basically, they, they've, they've about as much personality as this pen. Yeah, it's about it's about even. Danny, sell me this pen. <laughs> <laughs> there. Basically what I was trying to get at is that the m movie for the, about the first, like, half an hour or so is laughably horrible. There's a lot of really bad dialogue and, and scenes, and some of them are just really awkward, and it's really <laughs> funny just to watch um, and, no. and, like, point out a yeah. stupid thing in the movie. Let's show a couple. Katara, do not hit that spear! That child is being arrested. For what? He was bending tiny stones at us from behind a tree. It really hurt. All right, so let's talk about the fight scenes in the movie. They're really stupid. Yeah. And partly, um, as you can see at like the beginning, like we we kind of exaggerated with the bending. It, it just takes forever to takes do. Takes forever anything. for anything to happen. Yeah. It sucks because the show, the fight scenes are super fast and awesome, and this. <laughs> Oh, and and because the way it's directed, they there's a lot of, and the way it's directed, there's a lot of shots, uh, a lot of really long panning shots of just them, uh, fighting. But it's mostly just them standing around waiting to get to like the right uh, positions, so then they can do the next move. Waiting to be killed. Um, It's, it looks to be all of it is like way too coordinated, and most of it is just them standing there. And, I love how, like, <laughs> and most then like of the they'll do like one attack. Don't do anything. Yeah, they do like nothing. Waiting to be killed. <laughs> like, they're literally just Waiting standing there. To be killed. <laughs> and when finally something does happen, it just looks really corny. <laughs> <laughs> that's why this is funny. That's that's a, that was a redeeming yeah. factor in this. And yeah, because it's yeah, it's so bad that it starts to become good, and that's what that's, that's the what only that's thing what some people really, don't understand. That's the only that... thing you can really get out of this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah, it, it gets does, to that level. It, gets, it does get really funny. Uh huh. And yeah, <laughs> okay. So the other fight scene, Quinn's thing that happens later is when Aang gets captured, and then the Blue Spirit, which is Zuko, comes in to rescue him, and they have this it big gave fight away. scene. Okay, the reason, and this fight scene is maybe even worse <laughs> than, the, than the one with the earthbenders, because a lot of it is just Aang standing there, and then he, he goes, like, they're all like, oh, we're gonna attack him, but none of them attack him. He's just standing around for like a couple minutes, mm -hmm. and then he like has this thing with oh, oh there's, this, this, there's this airbender training the, area, the, training the fire area. nation, and, and and no, it makes sense. The fire nation took over. They explained. Oh, you're right. Um, oh, oh, yeah. They actually did okay. explain that. But anyways, the point point being, he's doing this airbender training area, and no one's coming to attack him. This was their practice area. And it's like, is he supposed to use that to his like his advantage or something? But like, no one was attacking him anyway, so it didn't it didn't accomplish anything. It would have made sense if it's like he's got like a bunch of guys on him, like and he then, gets like his throat slit and he's yeah. like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If he had like guys actually attacking him, then it would make sense. But they don't. So he just kind of stands around for a couple minutes, mm -hmm. and then he goes and helps uh, um, Zuko fight all the other guys. And it's like a really long panning shot in slow motion. Yeah, and I'd 
pretty sure they do the same shot twice if, like, Zuko just, like, blocking fire with his sword. No, no, he blocks fire twice. Yeah, but it looks, but they, it looks it's like... It's not the same shot. I know, but it looks the same. Like, Point being, it's stupid. It's just a bunch of slow motion shots of them going, Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's really dumb, <laughs> and, and it's just don't make like. Why is it all in slow motion in one long shot? It should be like really they fast make this action. Movie Ninety minutes. <laughs> And it's a great action scene in the in the show, and it's fine for one episode. But mm -hmm. when when you really think about it, this whole sequence, Aang gets captured. Uh, Zhao's are like, "Ha ha! I captured you!" And then Zuko <laughs> breaks him out, and then they have a fight sequence. Then they then they escape, and it's like it didn't add anything. What did that accomplish? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Nothing. Not, it didn't matter in the show. It's so, one so episode. Sokka and Katara weren't sick. In the show, it, it's. <laughs> It's a lot of cool, uh, there's yeah. a lot of yeah. stuff that's relevant just for that one episode. Mm -hmm. And it also, when it, it's a show and it's just one episode, it doesn't matter if, if by the, it's like, oh, the end, he breaks free, whatever. Because it, the story continues the next episode, but when it's a movie and this one scene that happens and nothing happens, and it doesn't amount mm -hmm. to anything, it's like, why did it happen at all? Yes. So it just made it not relevant, <laughs> and it's a cool part. Yeah. But they fucked it up. <laughs> Now, now you're starting to like rants and stuff, and it's like I'm gonna look but at it, this differently. Yeah, again, I'm sorry. It is hilarious. <laughs> it's it's it's, it's, it's so hard to stupid. watch, but it's funny. It's, yeah, it's it difficult funny. to watch, but if you can get over <laughs> how difficult how to watch it is, and just be like, oh my god, this is dumb. You can laugh at it. So and that's fifty different that's, cookies. That's the what are you saying? Okay, that's the redeeming quality. Yes, is it? It's stupid. <laughs> You can really like pick apart each almost every shot in this movie. Yeah, for just really stupid things. That's what we don't want to do, really. But like, what? We're like, we're, we're yeah. This, this is just some of our favorites. Yeah, here's some of our favorites. Good. Who are you? What's your name? I don't need to tell you anything. Uh oh, he's getting away. He, he's getting away. He, you could sh you could shoot fire at him, guys. There's there's fire there. <laughs> Leave him alone. Oh, oh snap! Here it comes, y'all. Okay. Uh, a lot of the times in this movie, when they beat someone, they're like NPCs from video games <laughs> yeah. or something. Just the way they talk, the, really the way they walk towards them. It's like, oh, oh, we'll show something. Yeah, we'll we'll show something. The Avatar is dead. If he was here, he would protect us. The Avatar would have to be an airbender. Are you an airbender, boy? Um, would you like to spar? You haven't sparred in a few days. <laughs> well, yeah, it's, it's funny because they're just mm -hmm. generic guys that they, like, whenever they meet someone generic, it just feels like they have no personality and they're just kind of a guy from a video game. They're just like a, like a, a hollow shell of their former <laughs> self. <laughs> So a couple parts toward the end, it actually starts to get a little better, which is surprising. Um, the scene where Aang goes to the Avatar stage and raises up all the water and stuff like that. It's actually kind of yeah. it's actually kind of good. sad because it's like why couldn't the rest of the movie be like this mm -hmm. but be, like be a b movie like, <laughs> yeah it's like a b or, at that point yeah it gets to yeah it gets to about a b <laughs> yeah <laughs> like it's watchable and stuff and it's watchable it's not, it's not great but it, it could is it's, it's, it's a lot better than most of the other parts um and then when when they're like uh oh you're the avatar and they're bowing and and then it does that part. That part's a cool ending, actually, and it, uh, and it is well uh, set up.
Okay, can you, like... Oh, yeah, yeah I thought it was good. Like, uh, there was, like, a part, like, uh, early in the movie where he's, uh, he's talking to the guy, and he's like, oh, like, well, they, it's like, they bowed to me, and I didn't bow back, and I, like, ran away, and that's, like, a really disrespectful thing. So, like, they, they bow to him, and then he bows back, so it's kind of yeah. like, oh, mm-hmm. oh, And they, they kind of oh, foresh- they kind of oh, foreshadow... Okay. Yeah. I kind of foreshadow him uh, raising up on the water mm-hmm. and a couple other scenes in mm-hmm. it. I don't think that's completely necessary. I think mm-hmm. that just has to do with Shyamalan's directing style. He likes to use oh, foreshadow, right. um, which is fine. And for a couple, and for the parts near the end, it actually kind of works, it, and it does kind of pay off a little bit. Um, but most of it, just, okay, for most of it, I don't think Shyamalan was the right director. No. <laughs> so in terms of based off the show. Obviously, the show's better in every way, but when you <laughs> just look at, like, the actual changes that were made... Yeah. Like, the, the story overall is basically the same. Mm-hmm. They just they left out some yeah. stuff, but it's it's a movie, and so it, it makes sense. They yeah. keep the important parts. You only have so many... Uh, uh, only have a couple hours to do You only have so it. many 90 minutes. <laughs> yeah. Like, they probably could have made it longer and thrown some more parts from the yeah. actual the, It definitely the show, should have been longer than 90 but minutes. Martin Scorsese is the last Airbender. Three hours. Okay, point being yes. that uh, the parts that they did change were just stupid because, mm-hmm. like, the characters are all different. Like, they don't act like the um, guys from the from the show. They barely Sokka's look. Sokka's not funny. Yeah, Sokka's not funny at all. Everybody can help us now! Like, they barely look like them. Um, and then they, like, changed all the pronunciations of things, like, it's on. That was, like, things that bothered me when I first saw this. Yeah, and it's, like, That was back when I, like, I didn't, I wasn't, I didn't mind the acting. Back in 2010. Yeah, back in 2010, I didn't mind the acting, I didn't mind the the bad script. What I did mind, though, was bad pronunciations, lack of, like, uh, characters being the same, and the bending. The whole bending, like, Yeah, uh, how it takes them forever to bend. And firebending, I'm annoyed by. firebending, they made it way suckier. Yeah, so it's like, you have to have the fire there to bend it. Yeah. Which kind of makes sense. We're smart. But then they even go against them because they realize that that's lame, so they make Iroh be able to just bend uh, without a source. Out of nothing. That was when they killed the moon, okay? <laughs> but He's bending fire out of nothing! <laughs> yeah. It's like... Oh crap, I'm actually gonna fall. So it's almost like, why did they even change that if they're just gonna go back to the what yeah. it should be anyways? <laughs> and they actually gave a really good explanation for the... Yeah, they, they actually, can create fire out of nothing. And they do explain it in the show. They could have just done that. <laughs> and there's other parts where they're not even bending and they just fight. Because it's like, and it's, and it's like, why are they bending? And you realize, oh right, bending sucks. So it's way easier to do use just regular martial arts. Yeah, which is like, because the firebender is like, there's no fires around. I just oh. have to use my martial arts. Yeah. yeah. And in terms of the pronunciation, I heard somewhere mm-hmm. it was because of the way the the names are spelt that it's like, oh, there's two A's and Ang, so it should be pronounced Ong. It's like. There's two A's in Aaron, it's still pronounced Aaron. It's not Aaron, it's like... <laughs> Samus Aaron. It doesn't make sense. Der. <laughs> <De doi. laughs> Samus Aaron. It only has one A. The way things pronounced aren't because of how they're spelled. Like They're you, pronounced because of how they're pronounced. Some names pr- are spelled like eight different ways and they're pronounced the same way every single time. So <laughs> Some names just want to watch the world burn. You know how, the, how names should be pronounced? How they were pronounced in the show. <laughs> <laughs> how about that? That's a good idea. So like it was a book or something, and it, it's like how oh, I always thought it's Ang, but I guess it is actually on. It's yeah. Like, no. It's like, no. No, they say Ang. It's pronounced. Oh, Aang. I thought it was Hermione. <laughs> and <laughs> sometimes they can't even figure out how to pronounce Avatar. Like they say Avatar. The Avatar. A few times. The Avatar. It's like that only has one A in it at the beginning. So why is it? Why is there's it, three A's in total. Three A's in total. <laughs> but it's not A A V A T A R. It's just A V A T A R. So it should be Avatar. Avatar. But they 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 don't even know because <laughs> I know the, they the switched between. The last year, but I think I think it's like somebody <laughs> that's like someone's like hey uh show one do you want to do this like uh, I'll try the last year but oh, sorry I'm gonna say that but no that's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> that's brilliant. <laughs> that's brilliant. Like it's it's not like they changed like the story that much. They just change things that are don't need to be changed, <laughs> and that's that's the main difference. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's what that's what makes this movie uh, on that's the adaptation side. Of, but as a movie, 
Yeah, it has redeeming factors. All, it has redeeming factors. The first half is funny. Which is, yeah, the first... The middle is boring, <laughs> and the last half is slightly redeeming it's and slightly, still funny. It's slightly good. I love any, any scene <laughs> with Suko good. and Aang, just Suko and Aang. Fantastic. <laughs> Oscar genius. <laughs> In a good way. <laughs> They're gonna take home the gold this year. Okay. So the music is interesting. Mm -hmm. so it's because James Newton Howard. James Newton Howard did the score. Mm -hmm. And it's pretty good. It sounds a little generic. But a one, little generic? Okay, a lot generic. <laughs> it's really generic. Ha! Good one. What I kept wondering is why aren't they using the actual Avatar The Last Airbender music? Because that music's awesome. They got the rights to everything else. No, no, I know what it is. They didn't get any rights at all. That's why they're saying all the names wrong. <laughs> oh, no, it, our version is different. It's it's a Ong, it's not Aang. It's, yeah, it's and Zuko, different. Zuko doesn't even have a scar. No, like, no, he's like... It's, 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 <laughs> <laughs> that's what it was. That's I'm what it was. Sure that's what it was. They didn't actually have the rights at all. That's why it wasn't Avatar The Last Airbender. It was just The Last Airbender. That could mm. be anything. Who knows? What, uh, no, it wasn't Avatar, <laughs> the last Airbender. It was the last uh, A Bender. The, the, the last. The last R. R ben, the, the last R, R Bender. R Bender. The last R Bender. R Binder. The last R Binder. But yeah, um, the music, <laughs> which is what I was trying to talk about. Um, a lot of parts, it feels like it's just ripping off Star Wars music. A lot of parts seem to rip off Star Wars in this movie, yeah. which is dumb because it's already ripping off the last year of my Who are you, <laughs> farm boy? <laughs> is that the droids you're looking for? <laughs> <laughs> like, like mm -hmm. half the time, uh, Aang has his uh, hood on, and like he's a Jedi or something, and <laughs> and, and and like he talks. And then, then the Jedi. dragon spirits are like, "Go to the Dagobah system." <laughs> you must go to the Northern Water Tribe. If they take that city, more will suffer and die as your airbenders have. <laughs> there you will learn waterbending from Yoda, the the Jedi Master who trained, who trained me. me. <laughs> and it's like literally almost every uh, the every, spirit every element from Star Wars one. is like ripped off at some point. There's also the four other elements too. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, the the evil empire of the Fire Nation is the, uh, the, the, the Fire Nazis. Gonna take over. But, um... The Flyer Nuts. Yeah, basically, the music is really generic in some parts. Mm -hmm. And in some parts, it's actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. But it, it's still generic. Hey, but it, it doesn't work with this movie, because the movie sucks. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's like, uh, the music isn't good enough to make the visuals not matter if they're good or not. Um, and that's the problem. Like, if it was something like the Attack on Titan theme... Um, then it would then it wouldn't even matter if the visuals are good or not. I'll cut that in. Yeah, <laughs> and um, for some of the worst scenes of the movie, <laughs> were not involved. That would be different. <laughs> or if they just used the actual music, then it would have been good. Or if they used music from Star Wars, or I if they used Ghoulie's theme. Or <laughs> yeah, there's another one. <laughs> yeah. The end credits are actually pretty cool. Too bad there's way more bending here than in the entire movie. So overall... <laughs> Imagination! How does this movie hold up? Um, A out of five. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah. No. It's bad. It's gotta be at the end. Is of there fun. anything good about it? Yes. A couple parts near the end. Yeah. As well as, is laughably. It's it's hilariously bad, mm. and it's it's yeah it's so bad that it starts to be really funny <laughs> and actually kind of good in some ways. Yeah. Is. It's just, like, if you don't expect anything from the Lower movie, your expectations. Lower your expectations. To the very bottom. <laughs> expect it to be the worst movie yeah. ever. And then you might get something out of it. Then it'll be you, the best movie ever. <laughs> if you expect it to be, like, a really good live-action version of one of the best shows, like, animated shows ever made. Of all time. Probably, if not the best animated show ever. Um, yeah, you're definitely going to be disappointed. Um, so lower your expectations. <laughs> If you, yeah, if you expect a kind of fun kids movie, <laughs> I don't know. If your kids will enjoy no, it and then review it your three kids, years later. Your kids might enjoy it if they're dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody Point. watching this as kids. You know what? <laughs> Basically, I think the main problem is that M. Night Shyamalan wrote, directed, and produced. Now, not to say that he's... This is a Lucas situation oh, here. It's, it's just Level 5. It's M. Night Shyamalan, so you suck. No, no it's, I like it's just his, a Lucas situation. I like, his, I like some of his movies. They're actually good. The problem is, he's not the right director for this movie. Mm -hmm. This should be a fun adventure, action... Uh, action and Fast-paced... Yeah. I don't know, fun movie. But Shyamalan does dramatic... Slow moving, suspenseful. Oh, you movies. know, you know who would be a good director for this if you want like fast paced and stuff. Whoever directed Madagascar three. <laughs> yeah, just that'd be perfect. A, yeah, it's like okay, we're writing off a. Just make it a live real action time? Like, what? cartoon or something. Yeah. Or Sam Raimi. He does a lot of um, really fast, like uh, almost live action cartoons. You haven't seen Army of Darkness, but no. like, it's just like what the hell I is. Saw going Evil on? Dead, but it, it, Evil Dead was more Shyamalan esque. Than well, yeah, it's, yeah. It's the, but later they yeah. get like more ridiculous, oh, okay. and, and it's, cool. it's 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 a lot of fun. Like that would have been actually actually mm. is basically we thought of like who would have been a direct, better director. I think anyone, even someone mm -hmm. like um, uh, what's his name, Neil Blomkamp. That would be been, amazing. That'd be interesting. That'd be I amazing. Know, I don't know how he'd do it. No, but someone he would do it where there's like these poverty ridden people, and they <laughs> they have to rise up. The From the ashes <laughs> of fire. With, um, Charles Tocco as... <laughs> no, not as Aang, no. Um, who would he be? Uh, I like he'd be Zuko! Zuko. Yeah, I feel like he'd be Zuko. <laughs> ah, ah. That'd be pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. Um, oh, what's the guy? Michael Bay. He, I think, uh, <laughs> he's not not a great director, but the movies he does are really fun. And it would have been... Shia LaBeouf as Sokka. Okay. <laughs> Megan Fox as Katara. No. And Bruce Willis just, as Aang. Just, just, just not with the casting, but like, just the direction. It would have been a, a better movie because it would have been less boring. And I think and that's that's the main <laughs> thing with this movie, is a lot of it is just really boring. Mm -hmm. um, so it would be, it'd be better if it was more exciting. Yeah. And Shyamalan's just not the right director for that. Um, but yeah... Is it's like written, directed, and produced by M. Night Shyamalan. It's like, so basically, you had complete control, and no one said, "Hey, this actually sucks. Can we make a better movie?" <laughs> <laughs> so I think that's what happened there. Um, so don't blame Shyamalan. But, <laughs> blame the thing. Yeah. Overall, based on the show, it's a complete atrocity. It sucks on its own. But if you expect nothing from it, you might get some laughs out of it, and you might be able. To, to enjoy it a little bit. So, if you don't expect anything from it, I'd say the movie is maybe worth watching. But if you want a good version of the show, just watch the show. Make one yourself! Don't don't watch the movie if you want, like, a good version, a good adaptation. Because one, the show is already perfect, so just watch that. And two, it's it's not good. It's not, So don't... Yeah. I think that's about all I gotta say. That, is that it? As the word of nostalgia critic, if you can't buy it, steal it. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, that, nobody said say, that. Why did they say I, that? I made that up now. <laughs> okay. The Thanks. End. Thanks for watching. If you sneeze during... Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Eat fresh. Hey. I'm Charizard for the win. This is my friend here. I'm a friend. Subscribe.